Eyes off what is, eyes on what's coming. You said yesterday, keep your eyes off what is. It's a good philosophy, unless what is is just pleasing you. Esther had a conversation with some friends last evening about some things that they've been experiencing together. And they just regurgitated the good times and milked them and milked them and milked them and milked them and milked them. And they weren't even things that were happening right now. They were things that had happened that were so wonderful as the universe was just orchestrating and they were just in the, such a flow of it. And so anything that holds you in that place of knowing your power, of course, put your eyes on it. But the reason that we're behaving a little stubbornly about it is because we don't want to teach you conditional living and there's a little bit of possibility that if you are really looking at conditions that are good that now you're training yourself to look for conditions and when you do you're going to find some that are of advantage to you and some that are not of advantage to you so we just want you to be deliberate about the way you're focusing focus really is the basis of this conversation isn't it focus and feel focus and feel focus and feel for the satisfaction or not focus and feel for the satisfaction or not